Hello. So it is no surprise to me why I do not have big followings on things like YouTube and Twitter. Um, because I'll give you the answer. The answer is Jimmy Fallon. Some fucking moron who's boring as hell, stupid as hell, and all he does is just smile a lot and laugh a lot and talk about positive things, right? If I had to do that, I'd probably hang myself. So I'm not going to do that. So, in keeping with the spirit of my negativity, I will read you what I just wrote on Facebook, which I think is pretty awesome. Okay. <clears throat> so I was trying to avoid all humans about half a year before COVID started. And in terms of karma, sorry, I'm sweating, it's so hot out. Since I'm basically the most important human I know, the fact that I was avoiding humans is probably why God created COVID. Because he just wanted everybody else to get the hell out of my way. I mean, because it's kind of funny that as soon as... So, I mean, because it's kind of funny that as soon as I decide to be a hermit, everybody else is forced to... So the glasses are falling off because I'm sweating. Obviously, I don't believe it. It's just kind of a fun thing like horoscopes. But if I ever get COVID, and I know I will, that is when you know it's over. Because nobody isolates more than I do. I am 99% sure that 99% of the world's population and more will be dying from COVID in the upcoming years. You don't have to like it. I never said I like it. But I tend to look at reality realistically. Somebody on MSNBC today asks, What more can we do to convince these idiots? And I'm like, well, that's a question that already supposes there is something we can do. There's nothing to do here with the idiots. <sighs> this virus could be killed even now with the snap of a finger if people could isolate for two weeks slash be considerate. And they have proven a billion times over to be as amoebic, to be amoebic as in amoebas when it comes to any level of intelligence. Humans are single brain celled organisms. Quite simply, the virus is more intelligent than humans. And I mean that, well, semi, semi literally. An amoeba, now this is a scientific fact, I believe. An amoeba is more complex than the smartest computer on the planet. So, like, you can laud, laud your uh, accomplishments, humans, but you're still, we've accomplished, we have not accomplished as much. Uh, complexity as a cockroach has. Not yet, anyways. Um, so what we have accomplished by, say, putting a billionaire into space is nothing compared to what nature naturally does. And remember, we are nature. We are far from its most complex accomplishment. You don't like the word science? How about nature? Oh, that word doesn't work for you either. How about money? Bingo. You like that word very much. You simple little wannabe amoebas. Amoebae? You're not even single brain celled. Every good human has been warning you retards about this shit for their whole lives. Not just the coronavirus. Everything. And now cock a doodle do, you wake up and find that your actions have con had consequences. The best part is, COVID is just nature, is nature just licking its lips. Wait for climate change. Like, you ain't seen nothing. This is a, COVID's a joke compared to what's coming. Again, you call me negative, but the scientists wouldn't. Oh, sorry, you don't like the, that word. The non-economy -obs obsessed people would agree with me in a second. All you had to do was wear a mask. All you had to do was share food with your neighbor. This is the story of the human race. All you had to do was not show off your middle, your average middle class car. And nobody was impressed in the first place. No, no girls liked you because of your stupid, ugly car. It was never a Ferrari. Like, anyways, you tried to kill the earth. It didn't work. But now the earth is retaliating and you are screaming no fair. I learned a bit too early in life that most people cannot be reasoned with. All my analogies fall flat. 
it is vindicating and depressing today to see the macrocosm of my personal experience with idiots play out. So my issue used to be the end epidemic of stupid people around me. Epidemic being limited to my community. That's the definition, I believe. Then it became a pandemic. That means the stupid people were affecting the whole globe. It was worldwide. Now the stupidity is endemic, meaning permanent. It's a permanent global state of stupidity. The humans, they're the virus. Um, we have an endemic pandemic of human stupidity. God, thank God for the virus, eh? And I hear all the idiots say, hopefully one day we can get back to throwing garbage into the ocean during work hours and then go for sushi at dinner time. <sighs> Nothing learned. Nothing at all. Was that a happy video?